Hey, what's going on everyone? Fireman here. Um, so I'm going to bring an updated install video for my Wild Hunt Reengage Reshade. I released a new version, version 5.0 earlier. Um, and there's some changes to the file structure. So I want to make sure there's no confusion when it comes to installing version 5.0 and end up. If there's going to be another version, I'd be it. Uh, but I just want to make sure there's no confusion that the install steps for this is straightforward and simple, especially for those that are new to uh, modding Witcher 3. Uh, so I'm hoping that I will be able to walk you through this so it's simple and easy um, and answer any questions that you have. I'm going to go over um, all the things that we actually need to get it up and running, and I'm going to explain each different version as well because I'm sure there'll be some questions for that. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, what, what we need to get this started. All right, so obviously one of the main things that we're going to need is my reshade. So let's go ahead and talk about that first. Uh, make sure you guys check out the description page. I do have some information on here, uh, such as videos that show the two different uh, versions that I have, um, as, well, as well as uh, images for each version. So if you're not wanting to take the time to watch a video, you can quickly look at these pictures and see uh, what you like. And the reason I have each location is because ultimately this is an adaptive type reshade. Um, and I'm going to explain that here in a second. Um, I have the effects hotkeys. I'm going to have the install video here. Um, this one's going to be outdated. I'm going to make this one. So once I'm done actually with this video, that will be here. Um, any recommend, you know, recommended mods and stuff like that, uh, in-game settings. My other mod, Supreme Ultimate Graphics, um, which push graphics beyond the ultra setting. So if you're wanting to really push some of those, um, I would recommend checking out this mod as well. Um, so, okay, so re-engage, you're going to need my file. Uh, as a version 5.0, I have two versions up here. I have one for Super Turbo Lighting Mod. And I have one as well for, and I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, uh, Winsome and Lighting. I know it's probably pronounced a lot differently in Polish, uh, but I'm just going <laughs> to say Winsome and Lighting. And I, I hope I don't sound stupid saying that. So, um, But I got two versions. Uh, version 5.0, I did create the standalone um, version for Winsome and Lighting. And uh, it, before, prior, it worked, one preset worked with both. So... Uh, you're going to have to pick which version that you're going to want to use, uh, whether that's going to be the Super Turbo Lighting Mod version or this one. Uh, so you can just going to hit Download, and that's going to go to your download folder, wherever that may be on your computer. The reason this is a download manually is because a reshade cannot be installed via Nexus Mod Manager. You have to install it uh, manually. Now, the other thing that we're going to need is, uh, depending on what version that you use, you're going to need the Weather Mod, Lighting Mod, to go with it. So like if you go onto my description page, um, if you use the Super Turbo Lighting Mod, I got the link right here, you are going to have to go to their page, go to the file, and you're going to have to install um, that mod. Or if you are using uh, Winsome and Lighting, uh, you are going to have to go to that page and install um, the correct version um, for that too. So uh, make sure you don't forget this step, otherwise the reshade is not going to uh, work. Now, the other thing that you are going to need, especially if you're going to use my adaptive version, and I'm going to explain the different versions here in a second, is you're going to need different SFX, again, only if you're using the adaptive version. So you're going to go to their page. I do have the link um, on my page. You'll go to it, and then you're going to download this file as well, and that's going to go to your, your uh, download folder, wherever that may be. So let's go ahead and talk about um, extracting the files and getting those installed now. All right, so I have all the files that I downloaded here. Um, you can see I got different SFX, and then I got both versions of my reshade. Again, you're only going to use one of these, whatever version that you want to use, uh, Super Turbo Lighting Mod version or the Winsome, uh, Winsome and Lighting um, version. Uh, I would also recommend that you have a shortcut to get into your Witcher uh, 3 game folder. It's the same folder that uh, has your DLC um, and your mods folder. I always keep a shortcut on my desktop because I'm always going in and out of this, this folder. Um, so we are going to have to get in there. So you're going to want to have to bring that up. So let's go ahead and uh, install um, the adaptive version. Uh, because you'll notice that when you open up the folder um, for whatever preset that you're using, there's going to be three different versions in here. Um, one is a different SFX, which is an adaptive version. What that means, it's a reshade that actually has multiple presets for each location in the game. And it uses different SFX mod to detect your location and automatically load that preset for that um, location. So I've customized um, a reshade preset for each one. So it's not like one reshade preset applies to the whole area. Um, I've actually tweaked it for each area. And I'm actually the first one for Witcher 3 to ever do that. Um, once uh, 
different SFX was released, and that was my Wild Hunt Adaptive reshade. Um, and then I eventually released this Reengage. But Adaptive is pretty cool if you're looking to have a different experience for di each location in game. Um, the traditional version um, is for those that don't care about the preset um, changing automatically um, and one preset to apply to the whole game they're okay with, you can go ahead and use that version. You'll install it like a normal reshade, and I will show you guys how to do that too here in a, in a bit. Um, and then the reshade 2.0 um, version is for those that want an adaptive type experience like presets for each location, but for some reason have trouble with different SFX running um, or don't want to deal with different SFX and just want to use a Reshade 2.0 um, version, which kind of came out after Reshade 1.1, but before Reshade 3.0, but wasn't actually a big hit and wasn't used that much. But I find that it does work. You have to just manually um, select the location preset, and then it will load that for you. And I will show you um, that as well um, here in a bit. So let's go ahead and talk about installing the, the adaptive version. Um, so the first thing, let me open up the different SFX. And we're going to open that up, and you're just going to open this folder right here, and you're going to go ahead and copy the bin and the mods folder. And we will just copy, and once you're done with that, you can go ahead and just close that out. You don't need anything else um, here. It does talk about how to merge mods, but if, and that's if you're going to use script merger and have an issue, um, or you're not familiar with script merger. So you can go, go ahead and close that out, and we are going to go back into the Witcher folder, and we're going to hit paste, and it's going to install. Um, the uh, the different SFX mod. The next thing we're going to have to do is to actually get into our X64 folder now because we are going to go and install the uh, the reshade. So you're going to go hit here from bin X64, and here is your your main folder here, and this is where reshade is going to install. You can see here is the application for different SFX is where that went, and this is what's going to be run uh, before you start your game uh, to uh, be able to uh, detect your location in game and load the correct preset. So let's go ahead and install the reshade now. So you're gonna to go to different SF, SFX uh, version right here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna copy these items right here, copy, and then you are gonna paste right in here. So it already installed reshade 1.1, which is right here. And I use reshade 1.1 because different SFX only works with reshade 1.1. So those that are wondering when are you gonna do a reshade 3.0 version, I can't do it with different SFX, it won't work. So I have to use that. Um, I have the default reshade folder. Um, right now, this has no preset active at all. There's no, this is just the default. Nothing's been changed. You know, so even if you were just to start the game right now um, without loading different SFX, it wouldn't detect your location um, and you would see no effect. Then you have the location presets folder, which installed. Click that and then you can see each folder for each location. So if you actually open it up, you can see that it has these files um, right here. And so what happens when you run different SFX, it detects your location and the program mod here actually detects the location, goes to the location presets folder, copies these files, and then just automatically pastes it back into the master reshape folder. And that's how you get your preset to change automatically for you in game. So, I mean, if you want a tip, if for some reason you don't want to deal with Reshade 2.0 and different SFX is not working, you can actually manually do it yourself. Just open that up, pick the location that you want. Like let's say we're going to Kirmorin, copy, and then go back into the main Reshade folder, and then paste, and allow to overwrite. Now it will load Kirmorin pre uh, preset when you get into the game. Now, to get this thing to actually work for you in-game, you have to, when you first install this, do not run uh, different SFX. You need to load the game up and then load a save and then go ahead and exit out. Then what you will do is you will run the application and it will show you here uh, that it would detect the location and you can see it's repeating because I didn't start the game. You know, so uh, let me go ahead and uh, start the game and I'll show you what it, what it would look like. All right, so I loaded a game and uh, backed out of the uh, the game, uh, closed it out, and then re and then started up different SFX. And this is what your screen will look like. Um, it won't have a loading uh, presets just constantly repeating when you have used it right. You'll see that it keeps repeating um, if it's not done uh, correctly. 
So there could be, usually it's, you know, two things that it could be if you see a repeating. It's going to be one that you didn't load a save first and then exit out of the game and then run different SFX application for the first time. Or two, you have a mod conflict uh, because different SFX does use script. Um, you have to use a, uh, a script merger mod to merge your mods and uh, use that tool. Um, I actually, since I just reinstalled this, um, I had to... Uh, rerun my script merger and re-merge uh, re my mods. It had a conflict with uh, KNG's uh, depth of field DOF mod. So I just had to re-merge you know, re that and get it to work properly. Um, you know, so once I did that, started this up, everything is good. Uh, then once you actually start the game, you'll see that it's saying loading preset and it will show you the location that it loaded. So you might want to you know, check that it's loading the correct preset. Um, and then once you exit out of the game, you can just close this out. And you'll be good to go. Um, but again, this is going to have to be started up every time you go to play Witcher 3 if you want it to actually auto-detect your location and uh, load your game. So, now the thing is, is once different SF SFX loads a preset, it copies, like I showed you, from the location preset to the reshade folder here. Um, that will be the, the reshade preset that's last installed. So, like, say you start the game up and you don't exit it, uh, don't start this up. Whatever preset you last use, that's what's going to show up in the reshade. Uh, folder and load into your game. So some locations may not look good in other locations and look off. You probably be like, whoa, why does this not look right? It could be that you didn't switch to the correct preset for the, the correct location. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, the regular reshade uh, traditional version, and I will show you how to um, install that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the Reshade 1.1, which is the traditional version. Um, again, it's for those that don't want to deal with different SFX or don't care about a preset that just switches to each location. Um, you can just simply use the traditional preset, which is the non-adaptive version. Uh, so basically what this one is, it's the Velen Novigrad preset used throughout the whole game. That's ultimately what this preset is. So for install, real easy, we're going to be back into that X64 folder. Um, where we installed the uh, the adaptive version, but all you're going to do is you're going to copy these three items right here, copy, paste in here, and that is it. Now you have the uh, traditional version installed in your game. You start it up, you should see the reshade icon pop up on the top left of the screen, loading the preset, and you are good to go. Um, so pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, now let me go ahead and show you how to use the reshade 2.0 version uh, for those that um, need to use that. Uh, that version usually does not get downloaded very much um, in my older versions, so I figured not a lot of people will use it, but just in case, I do want to show you how to um, use that. So let me go ahead and do that for you. Okay, so for those that are going to be using Reshade 2.0, there's an another step that you need to do uh, because this version doesn't include the Reshade file within the, my download uh, file because it causes a uh, false positive on the virus stuff when I upload this a uh, 2.0 and it locks down my preset and I have to get the moderators to um, unlock it. So I do not have it in there. Um, but basically what you have to do, you won't be able to find it on the reshade uh, website. So on my page under the reshade 2.0 users, I have this link right here. We're going to go ahead and click on that link and it's going to bring you to another page. Um, once you do that, you're going to hit the click here, which will bring you to um, the old reshade versions. And then you're going to hit Reshade 2.0. And then we're going to go all the way down to this last one, 2.0.3 F1.7. And you will click on that, and you will hit Download right here. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, but you'll download the file, and you, we will go from there. So um, I have already downloaded it, and it's right here on my desktop. And I've extracted the file, and you will have to get in there. And what we need to do is you can actually just leave it right here. Um, you might want to put that in a location that's safe because that's actually where the reshade is going to load from. Uh, so go ahead and, you know, maybe you want to rename it like Witcher 3 or Wild Hunt Reengage 2.0 or whatever you're going to do with it. So open that version up and you're going to open up this reshade uh, assistant right here. So it will run and it will bring up a bunch of, you know, screens and everything like that. Um, and we have to find the uh, file path um, for our uh, game folder because uh, it doesn't have it right under here, under this section. So what I hit was that uh, profiles tab. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. And we are going to find, you have to go where your, your Witcher launcher is. 
So like for me under uh, Skyrim, let's see if I can actually get to it relatively quick. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong drive. So boom, Steam app, common, which three, bin, x64, and okay. And it's going to load that. You're going to have to pick the, the version that you uh, need to use if you're going to do D3, D11, or DXGI. Uh, I was using DXGI. So you will click on that. Hit confirm. Hit yes. And you will see, actually, if you go back into your x64 folder, it is actually installed um, your DXGI for your Reshade uh, 2.0. If you hover over it, you'll see file version. Uh, point out. So now what we need to uh, do is you need to install uh, the preset. So we need to go back into the version that you want to the, the re-engage 5.0 and go to 2.0 and you will see here that we have a reshade folder. Now you have to, let me go ahead and just close this out so I don't bog that down and then we start it. So close that out um, and then copy this folder here You'll see that it's going to match pretty much everything here, but you're just going to stay right in this folder, paste, and replace all the files. Okay, and that's all you need to do there. So then what will happen when it actually comes to running your game, you'll run the Reshade Assistant, and you will select Witcher 3 right there, and then go to Shaders. Oh, sorry. Clicked on the wrong one. Presets, not just Shaders. The Presets tab. And you will see that you have the same thing, locations. And then you will just click on that. And then it will hit save. And then that will load into your game when you actually run the game. You can leave this up and running. And then just minimize out of your game. And then just select the new location and hit save. And then it should load the correct uh, preset into your game when you go back into the game. You actually don't have to quit the game. Just uh, minimize and then click that. So that's why it's kind of different than it's the same like type with the adaptive version, but it doesn't use different SFX mod. It's, you know, so people that are not comfortable with using mod mer merger or anything like that or having problems with the repeating thing, you can just go ahead and use Reshade 2.0 version and select the location manually and it will load the, uh, the correct version for you. So, and that is exactly how you would uninstall that. Uh, if you want to uninstall the 2.0, um, you just click this here and hit minus. And bam, now it's no longer installed into your um, Witcher 3 folder. As you can see, it is no longer there. So I hope I was able to answer all your guys' questions. Um, I think I hit all the main points on how to install this. So hopefully it wasn't confusing. Um, I know this video might be a little bit longer because I did cover all three versions in here. Um, so I'll make sure to have the timestamps. Uh, but if you do have any questions on this, hit me up uh, in the comments section in, on the re-engage page. I really hope that you guys are enjoying this mod. Um, I can't believe that the success of this uh, uh, preset um, for Wild Hunt. Uh, this is my third reshade for Witcher 3, um, and it's taken off pretty well. So thank you all that uh, support it, download it, use it, endorse it, uh, whatever, um, and provide feedback and the screenshots and everything. Uh, a lot of videos. There's videos all over YouTube with it. Uh, so I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for, for everything with this uh, page. Um, I will see you guys later. Again, hit me up if you have any, any questions.